again everyone and welcome back. Uh, we are going to take a look at a ration from Minotaur MRE. We have chili and corn chips. So this is actually one that I was kind of interested in and it had been out for a while. Um, but we were able to get one. So we're going to take a look. Let's see if I can... I do seem to... It's been a while but I do seem to remember their, their darn peelable seals being oh there we go oh uh, there we go <laughs> you gotta really get into that okay so we have our flameless ration heater first up we've got spicy looks like a vegetarian chili maybe so no meat chili uh, let's see, high energy trail mix. Uh, let's see, peanuts, almonds, cashews, coconut, yogurt chips, dark chocolate chunks, dried strawberries, dried raspberries, dried blueberries, dried pineapple, dried papaya. That sounds very, very good. 480 calories is a lot. That actually sounds really awesome. Uh, vanilla shake. <clears throat> Add to 8 ounces of cold water. Doesn't look like we'd be able to do it in these packages, but these are nice packages. They are sealable, but eight ounces of water I think would be a little bit much for this particular packy, but that's okay. Mixed berry drink mix. Electrolyte replenishment. Interesting. Very cool. Yeah, this should be this should be awesome. Different packaging. I like that. So we have two drinks. And corn chips. Shelf stable. Always fun. So like a Frito thing, maybe. And then the good old sort of standard pack that, uh, that they always put in every ration. Uh, we have the, oh, interesting, so we have true orange, <laughs> okay, used to be true lime, true lemon, it's been a while, so there's a true lime, sugar, uh, deep rich coffee, coffee creamer, oh dang, three drinks, so we got fruit punch, clear fruit punch mix as well, it's kosher, interesting. We'll probably only do two drinks. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> what's this dainty little spoon? <laughs> what, what is this thing? <laughs> you put this with the dollhouse, man. That's a small spoon. Uh, let's see, we got some strawberry jam. Oh, interesting. So we've got strawberry jam and grape jelly. So no peanut butter. Okay, so just two jellies. Uh, cream cheese icing. I don't really see an application for cream cheese icing in this particular ration, but you have it. Um, sweetened condensed creamer spread. Again, like calorie packs. So, I mean, you could just eat those. I don't think I would really want to eat them myself, you know, just alone, but uh, calories. <clears throat> Salt and pepper. Pepper, always good to put in there. Uh, I don't know what those are. I think I might actually have to try the candy just to see what it is. Like maybe a lemon drop or a, like a Skittle type thing. Thank you. I don't know. Uh, and then we've got some uh, just regular crackers. MRE Star branded crackers. Nice, uh, nice bend in them. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get our chili warming up. And again, it's been a while, but I think these heaters were actually quite nice. Um, I like the bags. It sounds so, you know, sounds a little lame, but I like the size of the bag. I actually think that, whew, there's a lot of filings in there all over my hands. <clears throat> I think one of the biggest problems with the regular USMRE bags is they're too darn small. They are way too small. And uh, you wind up cramming stuff in there and, you know, sometimes you uh, rip them. So it's nice to have a little bit wider bag, just helps out. Oh, yeah. nice pour actually, good. And we'll that up. Oh, that's uh, ooh, that's already hot. That's a good heater. <laughs> oh, it's a great heater. It's a great heater. It's a great heater. Don't burn my hand. I swear to God. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in the bag just to keep it going. And you can put that up against a rock or something. That heater is rocking. I love to death. Look at the steam. All right, so I'm going to let this go, and then we will, uh, you know, tray everything up.
So everything is on the tray. Uh, that heater is awesome. <clears throat> we'll get the chili out here in just a second, but I think we have some drinks to make. Um, I'm not going to do the coffee. You guys know I don't normally do the coffee anymore. I've had, you know, far too much uh, ration coffee, and normally I save those for camping trips anyway. Um, <clears throat> I don't really want jelly. I don't see any use for jelly, the cream cheese, or the uh, sweetened condensed milk. I've used it in the past, but... Ooh, it's blue. <clears throat> Interesting. So this is our mixed berry electrolyte replenishment powder. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, I, there's plenty of stuff in there uh, that, I, that I'm just not going to do today. Uh, no offense to it, I'm just not gonna. And you can't make me. So there. This will be interesting. Now the, you know, standard like U.S. ration <clears throat> um, electrolyte beverage-based powders are actually really nice, and they mix a lot better than the normal beverage-based powders. <clears throat> um, this one, mm, it's you know not mixing super great, but yeah. It could definitely stand to mix a little bit better, but I think this is one of those things you let it sit for a bit and a lot of those little particulates will dissolve. At least it's not clumping, so that's a positive. And then we will do our vanilla shake as well, which I, I just wish this came in a bit bigger package so that I could actually shake it. Um, I guess technically I could shake some of it in here, at least just to get the the powder um, somewhat compliant but it just wouldn't take a ton of water so we're just gonna do it mix it up in a cup see and that's that's the thing here add in eight ounces of cold water to content shake vigorously I get that but in this bag there's zero chance um, <clears throat> interesting thing though lactose free so that's actually pretty neat 270 calories, so we don't have much else on um, <clears throat> ingredients or nutrition, but uh, lactose-free, that's actually really cool. Because there are a lot of folks that are lactose intolerant. I think, uh, I think most people are at least a little bit lactose intolerant, um, so that's good. Hey, you know what I could do instead of like trying to stir this like a noob? These are mason jars. I have lids. I can shake it, and I will, after I go grab one. I have returned with a lid. <laughs> Sometimes you just have your best ideas when you're not even thinking about them. I actually do this a lot of times with some of like, you know, my pre-workout stuff, and I, ah, dang it, I should have got my little agitator ball <laughs> after my, uh, shaker blender mug or whatever uh, busted I just kept the blender ball and I've just been using these so anyway where there's a will there's a way and where there's a lid there's a shake so that's looking pretty good pretty decently combined so we've done it we've we've shaken our non-lactose milkshake <laughs> Okay, so we've got our shake, we've got our electrolytes, let's check out our high energy trail mix, which sounded awesome by the way. And I think, I feel like they've actually done this particular trail mix um, before, I don't, I don't know, maybe I haven't encountered it, I've encountered a uh, trail mix like this before, so not a lot. What did they say calorie calorie on there? Uh, or did they? Yeah, 400, wow, 480 calories in that small a serving? That's interesting. That's cool. I mean, if that's true. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that looks awesome. That looks like an awesome mix. Uh, we'll open up our crackers. I figured we'll just combine the, the corn chips and the crackers into the chili. Let's see if we can get a hiss. Add a little bit of one. I went a little fast there. I don't have the delicate touch to just capture that perfect hiss like some YouTubers do. Look nicely intact. It's a cracker. <clears throat> and um, 
generally speaking what I do, because this is basically uh, called a couple of different, uh, different things, there's a corn chips, <laughs> or what I would call corn dust, and not a ton of it either. I would, uh, I would definitely prefer more than that, and these are definitely chips instead of Fritos. Yeah, that's not a lot. I, yeah, that's not a lot at all. <clears throat> that's why we need the cracker. Um, but I guess depending, there are a couple different ways, or a couple different names of which this uh, goes by. Uh, walking taco, um, I guess in some ways you could call it Mexican straw hat, but Mexican straw hat usually just uses the uh, seasoned ground beef, but you can also have it with chili, uh, chili frito pie. Um, <clears throat> so it goes by uh, many names, but it's, it's a good kind of cheap um, meal that you can do very easily and really depends on good chili, right? So as we said, it looked like by the package this is vegetarian chili, which there's nothing wrong with that at all. I think we've well established that. That package is nice and hot. Um, I make a pretty good vegetarian chili uh, if I want to. But a lot of times I like a little ground turkey in that bad boy. Ooh, almost escaped. Okay, very watery chili. Very watery. And like I said, I'm just going to dump it over these chips. Away we go. It's a little bit more like a chili soup. Uh, it's funny, we had all those packages and now it looks a little bit... Uh, a little bit lonely. Like I need a, here. Let's just spin there. <laughs> uh, dangers of a multi uh, multi chambered tray, huh? All right. Well, let's get a little bit here. Doesn't look like there's a ton of beans, but it does look like we have maybe some dark kidney beans and then some regular chili beans here. Let's see if this holds up. Okay, um, hmm, let me get a little bit more here. Yeah, there's a couple different beans, as you can see. Oh, that's on my hand. Hmm. All right. So, first of all, there is a little bit of spice to it. Not much, just a little bit. Um, but aside from that, it is very, very bland. Very bland chili. Um, there are not enough corn chips to make a difference in this particular, if we're just talking about proportions. And I don't mind a runny chili either. Actually, a lot of times my chili is quite runny. So that's not an issue, but it's not, it's not very flavorful. Needs more chili powder, needs more salt. Um, needs something to define it. Needs something to define it better as chili. Like I said, it just has a little bit of heat. I'm gonna add a little bit of Tabasco in here. Uh, just to try it out, but you know, it just it just doesn't quite hit. And one of the funny things that I I, I know I pointed this out when we were doing the case of um, MRE Nation MREs that some of the um, menus kind of tasted very similar to each other. Yeah, Tabasco is okay in there. I think I might have gone with a different hot sauce, honestly. It needs more beans. It, it definitely needs more beans. And again, it says veg, but like there are these little bits, so those might be some sort of uh, like vegetable crumbles, maybe. Oh, there's corn. Oh, look at that. There's corn. That's cool. 
I actually like putting corn in chili. But yeah, it, it's just not super flavorful. It definitely suffers from a lack of lack of seasoning. And uh, again, like I was sort of talking there and then I went off on the corn tangent, um, it does kind of start to become an amalgamous base with the other stuff um, where it's not really clearly defined as anything specific. I'm trying to think because there was like the chicken curry and then there was like that one beef stew thing and they both had a very similar base and I I don't really remember my whole train of thought here but the reason why I was holding up that just the sauce of the camera I was looking at um, to see about the floaties and the spice because like both of those particular entrees that I had talked about before both had a very similar look of the spice mix um, you know again this isn't bad and I'm not trying to knock it but it could be much better much better take a little bit of our electrolyte drink It doesn't really taste of anything, but let's give it a, another quick stir. Now, actually, that powder pretty much dissolved. There's really not much on the bottom. <clears throat> I guess this is made for maybe, maybe four to six ounces of water instead of eight. Um, yeah, it could be better. It's not bad, though. It's, you know, reasonably fresh tasting. Let's get a little bit of everything here. Try and ooh, ooh, is that a straw? Is that the strawberry? That's sweet. Oh, white uh, white chocolate. I love this. This is awesome. This is a good mix. Not a ton of it, but it's a good mix. Hmm. <laughs> so many flavors. So good. I love it. Like I said, I'm trying to think of where I had that mixed before. Might have been a British? I don't know. But it's a very similar mix to something I've had before. It's very good. That is a well thought out, well sourced mix. I can imagine that gets very expensive to produce though. Very expensive to produce. Because there's a lot of uh, specialty things in there. I'm going to give our shake just a quick stir. And we'll try that as well. Shake. That's nice. That's quite nice. Um, I threw the package somewhere, but a little weak. <clears throat> Definitely has the vanilla. But, again, probably only for six ounces of water instead of eight. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just... I really want to fix this chili. I mean, on a, on a cold, wet day out on trail, I don't think I'd have any issue with eating this. But... Needs more corn chips and just needs more seasoning, more beans, way more beans. Beans are the spice of the chili. Not really, there's other things that include spice, but yeah, just needs more. Just needs more. That's all. It's a decent base to work with, though. I want to try this little candy because I'm, I'm just curious as to what it is. It's like a lemon or... No. It's just minty. Tastes like an Andy's mint. That is the strangest thing. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a sec I'm gonna bite a second one so we can see the center. Yeah. Yeah, it's like an Andy's mint. With a candy coating on it. It's actually pretty good. Wouldn't have expected that. Especially, you know, we, we tend to associate colors with certain tastes too. 
That's a strange one. Not bad though. Pretty, actually pretty good addition. So anyway, there we go. Um, Minotaur MRE, or Min yeah, Minotaur MRE, geez. Uh, menu number 12, chili and corn chips. Um, not bad. Definitely like the mix. You know, crackers are crackers. There's a ton of extras there. You know, you have jellies. You have a lot of, a lot of sugar. Um, chili could be a little better. It is what it is. Mix is good. The drinks are good, just maybe for less water than typically prescribed. But you know me, I usually water down stuff anyway, which is, it's kind of my way. But yeah, interesting idea. Very cool idea. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> so, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, give Minotaur a check out there. They've got a ton of, you know, interesting menus. I think I have a couple more coming in the mail as well. So that's it, and hey, you, yeah you, that's watching the video, make sure to hit like and leave a comment down below, tell me what you thought about the video, and if you're not subscribed, hit that old subscription button for me, hit the bell if you want notifications, I mean just do it anyway because it's great, um, but yeah, that's it, we'll catch you on the next one, see ya.